Dear friends, we value your precious time for your convenience and good experience. There is chapters included in video timeline. Moreover, you will get direct link to each of three playlists as well as link to our official Facebook and Twitter account in description. Hey, welcome back friends. Dutham Joy here with more of Witcher 3 next gen walkthrough in Death March difficulty. In this part, we will complete Colonel scenes and will find out the psychopath killer behind the curtain. Watch till the end, my friends. Let's continue. Our man's a sword swinger too. Thank you. Ah, uh, there he is. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Well, I have a couple of questions for you, Coroner. By the way, you and Von Gratz don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242, a senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but, alas, I had to do something, so I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. Yeah, this question is very much obvious. He looks so young. How old's Von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning, at his home, on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, Sliced my back with it to the bone because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Maybe. We missed a dialogue option. Let's go through that. By the way, I had him. People would. Yep. Yep, this one. Choosing the lesser evil can be hard at times. Happen to know a thing or two about that. In that respect, this work has its benefits. I couldn't possibly hurt anyone here if I tried. Okay, let's start the autopsy. Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment? Made of human skin. A message from the murderer. The name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her. Now. Oh, not good. So that psychopath's next victim is Patricia Vagelbud. High time to go to Vagelbud's residence to see what's going on. See you guys at the location. Oh, 
Okay, let us save the game here at this point. What do you want? Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can- Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, I'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vega, bud. Just no trickery. Understand? Oh, Geralt. What a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw Mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. Uh, no time to explain? I don't think, guys, this option is right. Let her tell the details. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard to believe, but you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square, uttered not a word on the way home. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, well, well, taken well. outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Let's hope, guys, Patricia Begelbert is safe. Fingers crossed. Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. <laughs> ah, shit! He... he ran out the other door! What Catch the him. hell? Okay, now we have to chase the murderer. Come on! <laughs> Spread out! Murder is still here! These guards are really demons. Catch him! There he is! Get him! Where the hell is he? Shit, he managed to escape. Are you guys mad? Why are you fighting me? Got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. What a shame. We got him, Lady Ingrid. It wasn't easy, but lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. For it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother! Why did he do this to her? Why? It's a punishment, ma'am. Yep, the second option. Because she blasphemed the eternal fire. Only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? 
Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time. Let's investigate this room further, guys. Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Gotta get to crippled Kate's, fast. Concerned citizen. I'm coming for you, buddy. Just wait. So according to that note, next target is Sweet Nettie at Crippled Kate's. Meet you all at Crippled Kate's, guys. Lookie, Mr. Fancy Pants. Sweet Nettie, where is she? Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. I'm See definitely going to disturb them. Any needs, Master? Hi, darling. Like what you see? What the hell? Nathaniel? No one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though? Whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again you disturbed me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. Why you are doing this, you lunatic psychopath? First, gotta tell me why you do it. For pleasure. Satisfaction. Are you serious, you crazy man? Achievable with whores in a lot of ways, many traditional. Doesn't take killing them, trust me. Who said anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. Third degree, but still. Mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. Oh my god, I'm sorry guys, I'm telling this. This guy's seriously fucked up. Spare me your lies. I've seen your victims, I know how they end. You don't stop. Not unless someone gets in your way. Like I'm doing now. What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer. Patricia Vagelbud and many others. <coughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Really? Then tell me, you sick fuck, who left that letter on Patricia's body? Feeling like to punch this idiot on his face. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Who knew you'd be here? I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner said you were busy, that you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with Sweet Nettie. After all... I paid in advance. You have done enough. Now leave her. You'll untie her, drop your coin pouch on the table, then leave here and never come back. Yes, I will. Good boy. Moment of truth, guys. Let's go to the warehouse. Coroner. Run out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although, you've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. Who, what are you? 
Vampire. What? Higher, of course. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism's rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat. Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them in a manner they'd be certain to notice. There are other ways. Could have set up a soapbox in Hierarch Square, preached from it. How funny. That's exactly what I did. But none listened. Instead they laughed, through stones. Give a thought to my victims. A lecherous woodcarver who'd spend his last copper on whores. An old countess who defiled symbols of the faith. A Trebirates for whom nothing was sacred, nothing above ridicule. They did not deserve to live. But their deaths could be a lesson to others. Awaken them, scare them onto the correct path, the path to the fire, to cleansing, to salvation. For you, I'm afraid it's too late. You are a man of little faith. I sense this. Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty good with a sword. There we go, guys. Final face off. Pretty good. My mount cut it. Come on. That was a good fight guys, very good fight. Oh, we got a relic sword, dear death. Anyways guys, it is time to return to Dandelion and Priscilla.
Yes, Geralt? Found and killed the murderer. It was Hubert. You were right not to trust him. He was a higher vampire. I thought nothing could surprise me in Novigrad. Seems I was wrong. Deeply wrong. Thank you, Geralt. Were it not for you, this would never have ceased. Hubert told me about your past, even more vivid than I'd assumed. I have not time for riddles, Geralt. Be straight or be gone. Any truth to his claim that people died during the riots at the university? Died for your cause? I was young and stupid. I thought a better future was worth any price. Even a human life or two. But those are past sins. Sins I've atoned for. Why is the university in Oxenford closed? Because it suits Radovid. You've not heard the story? The rector wished to grant him an honorary doctorate. The faculty disagreed. Nonetheless, Radovid arrived for the ceremony, donned a gown, collected his diploma, and when it was over, imprisoned the deans and the entire academic senate so they wouldn't raise a stink. I've been at Vilmeria's hospital ever since. But perhaps it's for the best. I'm far more adept scalpel in hand than I ever was behind a lectern. Know another surgeon from Oxenford Academy. Her name's Shani. Know her? Red hair cropped short, freckles. And a hopeless idealist. Naturally, I know her. She was my assistant for a year. Any idea where she is now? My gut tells me she's somewhere along the front, patching up pikemen. I told her it would be futile. In the time she saved a hundred lives, another thousand would be lost. But medics with a mission, you can't argue with them. Farewell. How's... Better, right? Yeah. Yes. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The Witcher's way. Thank you, Geralt. From me and Priscilla. It's okay, buddy. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the Dryads of Broccolon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. We will stop here guys, that's all from the quest kernel scenes. If you like our video, give like and share this video among your friends. New viewers who are liking our content, please subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to hit the notification bell as you will get notified as soon as we publish videos. See you soon in the next part. Take care.